All right. So we have we have a quite a few questions coming in on a uh, on some merger news in the sector. So I wanted to see if uh, you might be able to share some thoughts on this. They say, how do you think the Euronav frontline merger will play out considering today's Savary's uh, Fredrickson news? How does the Euro FRO merger work out with up to 450 million shares outstanding after the combination? <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's, that's a hot topic of, of the industry. I, in fact, I ran a Twitter poll uh, yesterday. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up real quick as we're, as we're chatting here. I ran a Twitter poll yesterday and I said, hey, what do you guys think? It was kind of tongue in cheek, but hey, do you, do you guys want this merger to keep going as it is or, or, or should frontline FRO? By the way, guys, I'm long frontline. Um, and just a disclosure there, I'm not long UNF. I would not want to be long UNF. I would want to be very long frontline right here, plus picking one of the two. Um, but I hope I've disclosed that I'm talking about my own book. Um, Trying to see if I can pull the poll up. If I can't, then I won't waste your time. Oh, yeah, I asked folks, and I got 563 votes on Twitter. So it's not a scientific sample, but I said, hey, is Frontline alone the way to go here, guys? Or should we push the merge firm even with this, this drama? 85% um, of the votes uh, said Frontline alone is, is, is better off here. So quick background. What's, go what's going on here is, is you're an avid Frontline or two tanker giant companies. They're trying to merge. Um, one of the big legacy kind of founders and owners of Euronav doesn't really believe in the tanker market long term, wants to merge it into like a green tech sort of green shipping firm. And, and, and Frontline is very legacy, John Fredrickson, tankers to its core. Um, so it's just a different uh, kind of vision of the future. I don't want to say much more that, would, that you're going to quote me on or record me on that'll get me in trouble because there's some drama here. There's some sides to pick. There's some uh, this this is a good uh, topic for the bar, guys. So uh, to the bar, <laughs> we'll talk about it offline. Um, but I'm long front line. I would not want to be your long your own have. It's the one one situation, you know, M and A arb merger and arbitration arb where you like go along the cheap one and short the other one and kind of play that arbitrage. This is the one situation where I would not want to do that. Um, I would just go along front line and stay the hell away from your own have. 